Hey there everyone, how are you? It's Laurie and I am going to do your general reading. I do this every day. <clears throat> I hope you guys are all doing well, happy, healthy, and having some fun. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates that brings you back in the future. If you are a returning viewer, Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Without you, there wouldn't be a channel. Let's go ahead and get your reading going here. Let's start by rolling this zodiac die to see what signs you might be um, affected by, influenced by, dealing with. All right, we have strong Taurus today. There is Capricorn, Leo, Pisces. Aries, and possibly some Gemini going on there. Okay, let's see what your overall energy is. Eight of Swords, you're a little concerned about something. Three of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Two of Swords. Two of Cups, love this. The Chariot. The Devil Energy. And the Ace of Cups. You are coming out of, oh, thinking about um, your future and where you want to take things. What you can do to build a happy, um, productive, successful future. And while you were doing that, something has got you a little bit concerned. And you've had to make a decision to, about a fresh start, something that you're going to start new. Because you feel like you've wasted too much time and you're tired of keeping yourself um, with the blinders on. You're ready to release something here and begin something healthy, happy. Take your life in a new direction. <coughs> wow. I don't know what's going on with this cough. Um, excuse me. I'm seeing double twos here. Okay, but you got two, 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 and then you bookended by aces. So the number two, two, two is going to be important. Okay. What I'm hearing here is you are ready to start something new. You're take you took the blinders off about something. You admitted some sort of truth. This kind of feels like a continuation of the reading I did um, for you yesterday, I think. Something is keeping you... I'm hearing that you're, you've broken the chains, that you've opened your eyes and you've broken the chains. And now you're, you're seeking a healthier, happier type of relationship with yourself. And that you want to take your life in a completely different direction. And this Ace of Cups is the Holy Grail. This is a new beginning in all aspects of your life. A fresh start. Um, for some of you, I am hearing something is um, being brought back around. Brought back to life. Um, something that maybe you were passionate about in the past. You kind of put it behind you, put it to the side, maybe because you, you know, you became a parent is what I'm hearing, that you became um, entrenched in work and you didn't have time to do what it was that you liked doing. So this, this is coming back around is what I'm hearing. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some clarification here. You've made a decision about something. Um, that will affect your future here with the Three of Wands. And you've got a beautiful new start. I mean, this is something you've definitely um, had dealings with in the past. All right, so the first card out. Oh, look at this. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. So now you got four twos here. This actually came out in the reverse. So it makes me wonder if you're going to continue to hang on to something. A relationship that's not... It's, it's heavy. It's a very heavy relationship that you've been in for a long time. I think you've been contemplating what to do about this relationship. 
and your major concern may be about um, finances. Let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Pentacles here, please. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if this resonates with you. And of course, if it's your reading, go ahead and claim it in the comments below. All right, clarifying the Ace of Pentacles, we have the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Hmm, interesting. I'm hearing that this is you and your person starting this again. And it makes you very happy. This is bringing, oh, look at this, two of swords, two of swords. Oh, and the emperor. What fell out here? Oh, the sun on the two of cups. So something here is being renewed. A, a relationship that you have been in or for some of you, I'm hearing that this relation, you've been in this relationship, but you haven't been in this relationship. Okay, so all I can make of that is that you're two people who were, got married, moved in together, whatever. You've been together for a long time, and all of a sudden you're kind of moving in two different directions and not really sharing a relationship. You're more like roommates. You may be living in two different parts of the country or the world, and the distance is just kept you from having the emotional bond um, that you were hoping for. This is going to feel good when you reconnect. This is going to feel re really good. Yeah, it's been a juggling act. That's what I'm hearing. That it, like You're in two different places. So even if you're not physically in two different places, you both are not on the same page. Okay, and time has just been flowing by and, you know, going by and going by and all these opportunities to have fun, to connect, to relate to each other, to be there for each other. It's just hasn't been happening. And I am getting, I know it's the five of cups, but I am getting that there's been at least five years of this. Like this has gone on for quite a while, even up to seven years. But you, you and your person want to be together if you stop and think about it, okay? You want to be back in control of your life. You want to win at this, yeah. Ooh, this looks really good. This looks fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Two of Swords here, please. Can we get some more information about the Two of Swords? <laughs> Okay, it's something you're working towards. Okay, oh, look at this. I laughed because I saw I saw the um, Six of Wands come out. I didn't know it was the Fool and the Queen of Swords. You're speaking your truth about wanting to take another leap of faith with this person. Okay, that you, you, you're just trying to reconnect. Okay, and you're, it's going to happen because your person wants the same thing. You're just in two different places right now and you're deciding you're going to talk about this and work on this because you both want this relationship <clears throat> yeah definitely your person wants to uh share their emotions with you you want to get back on the same page with them this is nice this is really i'm getting a lot of sentimental energy here look at this three of pentacles and the six of pentacles right with it on the two of cups this talks about wanting to work together wanting to elevate each other wanting to be there for each other support each other have balance this is like i mean this is my karma card and i am feeling that there's a strong strong sense of 
almost like destiny. You, you guys are meant to be together. And I don't know really what separated you. Life happens is what I'm hearing. So like, like I was saying, like you became parents or something like that. Or one of you had to move overseas to, to live. And it put a distance between you two. You couldn't focus on the relationship the way that, you know, a relationship needs to be focused on to keep it healthy and happy and, you know, productive. And it kind of just was, here we are, you know, doing our own thing in two different places, even if we're in the same place. And now there's a renewal of this relationship. This is really beautiful. This is really nice. All right, I'm not getting anything else there. Let's go to the chariot. Can we clarify this chariot energy here, please? <clears throat> I keep forgetting to mention, this is the Light Seers deck, okay? Um, I'm using the Mini Rider Weight deck here to clarify. If you're interested in any of the decks I use, there is a link in the description box below to each of the decks <clears throat> and I have included links to the Radiant Rider Weight and the White Sage Tarot. Somebody asked about those two the other day. Okay, let's clarify the chariot here, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. Nothing. There we go. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, you've really taken stock. The two of you have thought about what it is you really want out of life. And there is something you're cutting out. Something is going to be removed. And that's going to take you in this beautiful forward direction. And that's going to happen pretty quick, too. Once you realize what it is that you really want from this relationship, there's... <laughs> wild horses can't keep me away that's what I just heard um you're cutting something out really quick just you know this isn't gonna work not gonna we have to change this and you're gonna take action on it you're gonna move forward and it's gonna make you both very very happy this is awesome <laughs> all right let's clarify this devil energy here what are the chains that are being broken here can we get more information about this, please? I'm hearing work. I, I am hearing somebody say, I, I have to change jobs. I have to change directions. I can't keep doing this anymore. Yeah, they, you want... <clears throat> somebody wants to leave this energy behind. Whatever it is, you want to focus on your relationship. And you're ready to go charging in to save the day and speak your truth. You're definitely inspired to take action and move forward. Look at this, right behind that. I knew, I knew, oh my gosh, the Ten of Cups and the Empress together. Yeah, I mean, this is what you want. The truth is going to come out here. Some sort of truth, something is happening here. Um, you're going to tell somebody exactly what you need to do what you want to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Cups here, please. What is this energy all about? This is a brand new start in any aspect of your life that you want. Okay, so the Ace of Cups is about healing the heartache and the secrets and the distance. I keep hearing the distance. Yeah. All of this. And there, I mean, here it is. Up to this point, okay? So there is happiness coming back. You see your person as being everything that you want in a relationship. You're also leveling yourself up to this status. You're owning who you are. You're being authentic. You realize what you want out of your relationship. And you're going to speak your truth about it. You want to restore balance, and here's that fresh new start. You're breaking the chains on this. 
I'm hearing that you haven't been able to speak your piece. Oh, wow. There is a ton of good coming in here. All right, let's see what we've got as an outcome. Five of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Seven of Wands. Okay, so we have repeated cards here. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and we have the Hermit twice, okay? All right, what I'm getting is, is that you were very stressed out over, I, I keep hearing work. Somebody's very stressed out over work. Um, whatever work means, keeping you away from this relationship, okay? You did some reassessment of your life here. You took yourself away from, you know, the situation you really dove deep into what you need to do to restore this relationship, to change this work situation. And now you're standing up and defending what you want. And what you want is this Ten of Cups. What you want is the Ten of Pentacles. What you want is happiness. Okay? You're, you're done. You're done with this nervous energy here and the stress. I'm hearing the stress is just overwhelming. And I, I'm hearing that the stress is the is the job. The job is causing so much stress, so much pain, so much time spent away. Eight of swords, eight of swords. Separation. You don't want it anymore. Um, I don't know why, but they want angel answer cards. Somebody has a question, I guess. Somebody out there is saying, I, I need to know. Let's see what we can get for you. While I'm shuffling, if anyone is interested in a personal reading, please go check out the description box below my videos. Email me at the um, address that you find down there, and I'll send you all the details, okay? <clears throat> it's up to you. So there's something. I, I'm, I don't know what the question was, but it's up to you. If you believe... There is something better, and perfect. it will happen in perfect timing. On the bottom of the deck is success, so whatever it is you're asking about, it will be successful. I'm also being told that the, this relationship will come back together successfully. It will be beautiful. Trust your intuition, okay? All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, and anyone else who might be in here watching this um, message, until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.